Hey, what's up guys? Today I've got a simple electric motor here to show you that uh, you can make pretty much for free. I just found this AAA battery in one of the remote controls for the television. I found this little length of copper wire around the house and this neodymium magnet, I think is what it is, I pulled out of a uh, <clears throat> uh, shakeable flashlight that no longer worked. And so for me, this project is free. But uh, for anybody else, it should be very, very low cost. You don't actually need such a strong magnet, but this is just the one I had on hand. Um, so basically what you do is you bend... The only actual modification you have to do to any of this stuff is bend this wire to where you have a little point in the top part, and then you have what basically becomes two brushes in the bottom part. And uh, what happens is you sit this on top of the battery... And as these contact the magnet, it completes the circuit and causes the motor that you've made to spin. I'll show you what that what I mean right here. Oh, you saw it go a little bit out here. Give it a little nudge. Oh, come on. It was working really well just a minute ago. And you'll have to fine-tune it until you can get it to work consistently. Oh, I may have to do that. I'll be right back in just a second. I'm going to get it to work. Okay, it should work now. Well, I guess it started spinning on its own there. But, uh, give it just a little push. And as it completes that circuit, it starts spinning. There we go. And you've just made a simple electric motor. And um, you can do a little research and figure out what the actual forces at play are here if you wanted to do this for like a science project or something like that. But that will just spin until either the battery overheats and explodes or the battery is exhausted or it falls off because it's imbalanced. But um, yep, this is a simple electric motor, very easy to make. And um, thank you for watching. Don't forget to comment and subscribe.